Hello to all of my beautiful Aquariuses and welcome to your reading. This is going to be for July 2020. We're going to dive in and see what the month of July has in store for you guys. So I have gone ahead and shuffled your cards. We are going to go ahead and start with your tarot cards and then we will go through your oracle cards all together. Okay. So if you guys are brand new to my channel, hi and welcome. My name is Alyssa and on my channel, I enjoy making tarot pick a card readings and tarot readings like this. So if you happen to enjoy today's video, I ask that you please consider subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up as it truly helps the channel reach out other beautiful souls like yourselves. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. So I do apologize if I sound super winded. <laughs> um, I have honestly been talking nonstop <laughs> because I've been trying to get all the rest of the other videos out. So I do apologize if you constantly hear me like taking like deep breaths. So just a little disclaimer out there. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. This is going to be for all of my Aquariuses, those who have Aquarius in your chart, whether this is your sun, moon, rising, this is going to be for you guys. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's start with your tarot cards. Okay. So the first card that we have is the two of cups. We have the ten of cups. Beautiful. Next we have the ace of wands in reverse the page of wands in reverse and the seven of pentacles. Okay. So Aquarius, what's going on here for the month of July? All right. So how I like to read these videos is I like, or these readings, excuse me, <laughs> is I like to start off with the beginning, middle and end of the month. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in to the very beginning of the month here. So you guys have the two of cups and the 10 of cups. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect pairing <laughs> with this, because if you look at the cards, just, I feel like they really speak for themselves because the two of cups really deals with like um, coupling or partnership. Okay. Like kind of coming together. So for a lot, um, like in a love reading, this would be a really good sign to see because this would be, um, either you meeting someone, um, and just like really hitting it off to the point where like this very well could be the one, like you would start a family with this person or just like begin a new life with this person. So there's very much, I feel like for, those of you that are single, this is looking up really good for you. <laughs> it's the beginning of the month. Um, you could very well um, be hitting it off with someone and um, they could very well potentially be the one that you would want to settle down with. Okay. Now, if you guys are already in a relationship, what I see with this as well is that this is more so kind of like you guys coming together and being just like more in sync, if you will. It's like the passion excitement, all of that is there. It's almost like a rekindling of the partnership, if you will, um, which I think is really beautiful because this just kind of shows that you guys are both on the same page. It's like you guys just like get each other. You have each other's back. Like there is nothing but pure love and passion here. Like I just feel like you guys are both emotionally on the same page, which is a beautiful thing. And especially when it comes to a connection, it shows that it's very, very strong. Okay. So that's, what's exciting here for you guys at the beginning of the month. Now, middle of the month, we have the ace of wands here in the reverse. Now the ace or the wands typically deal with like our creativity, our, you know, passions. And when the ace of wands is in reverse, this usually means like there's some sort of delay in achieving you know, those goals or those manifestations that we're trying to put out. It's almost as if the like, I'm trying to make things happen, but it's just not happening in the way that I thought it would, or I wanted it to. Okay. So keep in mind, like, as you move forward, like whatever it is, if this speaks to like a creative aspect of yours, that maybe you're trying to kind of get off the ground or that you're trying to either continue with or just kind of like grow maybe more so um, in, it might 
take a little bit longer to get there. There might just be a little bit of um, like a little bit of a hiccup along the way. It doesn't necessarily mean um, that it's the end all be all. It just means that, you know, it's just, you know, a little bit unclear or, you know, you might feel a little unclear as to which direction you want to take this in. Okay. Now, for some of you, this just might also really um, pertain to just feeling uh, very vague as to, again, like what what or how, you know, you want to um, move forward with this ideal or just how you want to move forward in general, okay? Um, because there might be a little bit of lack of motivation or just not feeling as inspired. So you could have, you know, a sense of writer's block, you know, if you're a writer, um, or just, you know, I like to use that term specifically, especially when it comes to like creative endeavors. So you just might feel stuck creatively on like how you want to um, maybe grow your business or maybe just kind of like grow um, creatively, you know, explore your creative aspects, whether you're a painter, a writer, an artist, you know, there's just a, kind of like a sense of being stuck. And it's, and that's okay. I think we all kind of hit these little roadblocks. Um, but it's just kind of learning to be patient along the way or just like learn that, you know what, we all hit these like little um, blockages, but eventually we gain clarity and eventually we can kind of start to see through it. Um, it just might take a little bit of self care or a little bit of just, you know, cutting out, um, maybe something else that is taking up much of your time to where you can then focus it on your goals or how you want to be able to advance in this uh, creative aspect. Okay. Now the page of wands is interesting because this tends to deal with, you know, being <laughs> almost like a little bit deflated or just, as I mentioned earlier, feeling maybe even defeated or, just kind of undecided as to like what it is that you're wanting to do or how you're going to go about achieving your goals, right? Now, when this is in the reversal, you know, I like to consider this more so like a learning experience. Like, you know, just because, you know, you try once and you failed or like you tried a couple um, different options and they didn't really seem to pan out, it doesn't mean to just give up. It just means, you know what, it might just have to be a time for you to go back to the drawing board and like start anew and, you know, think of different ideas. Because the Ace of Wands is here in the middle of the month, I feel like that's where your ideas are going to start coming about. But it's just going to be that indecisiveness as far as like which route you want to go. And again, just feeling kind of motivated to really see them through. So for some of you, because, you know, as Aquarius is, <laughs> you might feel the need to do it perfectly the first time. And when it doesn't work out that way, it's almost like you're just like, oh, it's just not going to work, you know, <laughs> and that's not the case here. And I really want um, you guys to just kind of remember that, you know, like sometimes it just, you know, takes a few tries until you get it to where you want it to be. And that's okay. And if you are a perfectionist by nature, then, you know, that's where I feel like your seven of pentacles comes into play here. Okay. Cause this is going to be at the end of the month. So the seven of pentacles is all about tending to your garden. Okay. Kind of like tending to your goals, um, really giving it the time and attention that it needs and nurturing that creative aspect. Okay. So again, really speaking to those of you who have something that you're really trying to work towards. And if this is speaking to your creative passions, you know, I feel like that's kind of the main front right here, because I feel like relationships, you know, everything on, you know, maybe the love front <laughs> seems to be going great. Now it's like, okay, I want to tackle maybe my, um, my creative outlets or, you know, my career and things of that nature. So just because they're not necessarily going as planned doesn't mean you, you give up or, um, you know, that's, those are the only options. As I mentioned, you know, with that seven of pentacles there, this is going to be the time where you're really going to tend to yourself and your creative, um, ideas and figure out how you're going to make them into reality. But if you need to tend to yourself first by just giving yourself a little bit more self-care to kind of clear out any negative blockages or things like that, then this would be the time to do so, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in and see what other Oracle cards we have and maybe give us a little bit more clarity with this. So the first card that we have is New Moon and Aries. It's time to take action, 
Okay. So yes, this is going to be a really good time for you or this month, as I mentioned, kind of tending to you, tending to your needs, um, but also giving you time to take action as to what it is that you want to achieve or what you're wanting to work towards. Next, we have the Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. So don't be afraid to pick yourself back up and try again, especially if it doesn't work out the first time. Keep going. Okay. You guys are determined. You guys have what it takes, you know, to see your goals, um, you know, fulfilled and to see, follow through with your creative aspects. So definitely don't be afraid, especially if it doesn't work out the first couple times. Okay. And then we have new moon and Aquarius. Okay. Bring love into the situation. All right. So this also too may require your partner's help for some of you. Okay. So if this is calling you to bring love into the situation and you have such a very good balance with your partner, um, it might not hurt just to kind of either get their input or to get their assistance with whatever it is that you're trying to bring about. Okay. So don't be afraid to ask or talk to them let them know maybe what you're struggling with and you never know, maybe they'll kind of help you come up with an alternative or, um, a different route in which you can explore that maybe you hadn't considered before. Okay. Okay. Next we have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Absolutely. You can, <laughs> you know, that 10 of cups, there, all about abundance too. Okay. So the fact that you have abundance, not only within your love life and your home life. Um, but I feel like because the more that you tend to this, the more abundance that you'll see in the long run. So don't worry if things just don't pick up right off the bat, just know that all of your hard work will pay off. Okay. All right. Next we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Beautiful. So this partnership here, as I mentioned um, earlier, it doesn't necessarily have to be a significant other. It can, it most likely usually is, especially with that 10 of cups there. But for a select few, this can involve just partnerships, like working together with someone like you guys are just working really well together. Okay. So that's where that friendship can kind of come into play. So if you have someone that you're in business with, um, you know, and that you rely on, um, this might also be a good thing to just kind of check in with them. And again, just kind of see what could be an alternative to help you work through this situation. Okay. And then we have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Absolutely. So you guys have a lot about love here. Um, so I feel like for a good majority of you, this does, um, really have to kind of do with a love relationship. I feel like more so talking about the beginning of the month that you have a very strong partnership, which I think is going to be very beneficial and helpful to you in the long run. Okay. So we have a new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. Beautiful. So don't worry. You guys have some new and exciting things coming your way and we have divine magic extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Beautiful. So we've all got some divine timing here. Okay. We have, wow. Winning. Okay. Succeeding victory outcomes. So yep. Good things are coming your way. You've got abundance, winning, love, Aquarius. You guys have a lot of positivity here <laughs> and we have tendency dedication, determination, and stubbornness. Okay. So I feel like this kind of, again, speaks a little bit more so to like the middle towards the end of the month. Um, you know, just kind of staying determined and dedicated to what it is that you're trying to do. Okay. Remember, don't be too stubborn. If things just don't work out right away, it's okay. They will work out in due time. Okay. Just kind of stay on track in with everything that you're trying to work towards. Okay. Okay, so we have relationship change. A change in status may be taking place in your most intimate partnerships. So yeah, so for those of you who are single, I definitely see some uh, commitment here for sure. Um, if you are already in a committed relationship, this could mean that your relationship is taking the next step or just you and your partner coming closer together. So that's a really beautiful thing there. We have take your show on the road. This is the house of publicity, publish, speak out, spread the word. Self-promotion is a favored 
or is favored now. So if this is kind of part of your um, goal that you're trying to work towards as far as like towards your passions, um, as I mentioned, like if you have a creative project in which you're really trying to um, maybe self-promote, whether this has to do with um, like artistry, writing, um, if you're starting a YouTube channel, you know, something in that regard to where like you are trying to make um, it more public or trying to get other people aware of what you do, this would be a really good time, you know, to self-promote. And if you're having difficulty in trying to reach more people, don't be afraid to ask, you know, for assistance or to ask other people like, hey, you know, I really want to gain more followers. I really want to put myself out there. What would be a great way to do that? Or how could I get people to really see my work? You know, those kinds of things. So if you're struggling with that, this, you know, like I said, give that a try and see, you know, what happens. And then we have all in the family. A change is occurring in your home or family. This transition is divinely guided. Okay. So yeah, this could definitely just mean, like I said, like a earlier with that, you have that family card with the 10 of cups. So definitely could be a level up for sure in a relationship. Um, you know, and that you guys just could be coming closer together, could be engaged, could be getting married, um, or just starting this new relationship. So that's, what's exciting about that transition there. All right. And then last but not least, we have reflect, peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. Okay. So I think this will be really powerful to do, especially when you're finding that your projects or your ideas are not working out the way that you were wanting them to. This might be a good time to do a little bit of self-reflection. Okay. Like I said, just do anything to kind of help clear your mind. Um, especially for those of you who are a little bit of a perfectionist or who kind of just want things done like a certain way, kind of really peer into the why, like, why does it have to be you know, done this way, you know, or what can I do differently to make it more successful? You know, you guys have the power and the control of your situation, uh, you know, of your path. So definitely, you know, give yourself that time, that self care to explore that. And I think you'll find a way to really, um, you know, nurture your ideas and make them or bring them into fruition. Okay. So Aquarius, that was your reading. Definitely let me know in the comment section below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and consider giving it a thumbs up. It truly helps out the channel. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you so much to all of you lovely new subscribers, to the ones who subscribed from the very beginning. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.